JR Rich, man. JR Rich, man. What's up, Ja? What's going on, Rob, man? Hope all is well with you and everything else that's going on in your world, man. You are dealing with two of the best all across social media. The truth tellers, Ja and Ra, two of the best in the world. The world famous. Jews of the world. Two of the best. Whoever done it right here, right now, in the millennium, or whatever you want to say, Generation XYZ, doesn't matter. Because we here to tell the truth, and we do it the best, because we got no strings attached. Most yeah. definitely, most definitely, man. There'd be a lot of folk, you know, listen to our show, they be all sensitive and hurt. Hey, if you're you going to feel that way, this may not be the show for you, you know, because we are not here for you to love us. We're here to spread the truth everywhere, straight up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's all I can say. And that's how we're feeling right now, man, because, you know, we're the best. Plain and simple. I'm going to keep saying it because I can see it. <laughs> yeah. Listen, man. Real quick, I had a conversation with somebody at work. Mm-hmm. He, was up there doing, he was up there doing Bernie Mac impersonations and everything else like that, though. He said, yo, right now, this generation, yo, Bernie Mac who got canceled. His whole career been tossed out the window. And I'm like, you know what? You're right. Because these people right now, this generation is so super soft. Too sensitive, bro. No doubt, dog. But, yo, let's go ahead and get up into something that is also soft. Something that you and I both like. Let's talk about women right now, man. You know what I mean? So, if you got your woman and you and her walking down the street or wherever you guys are at and everything, though, and she sees her male friend, and she actually runs up to him, and he picks her up, spinning around, laughing, and (laughs) getting up there, rocking side to side and stuff, she off her feet. How you feel about that? See another man doing that to your woman right in front of you. Man, that's a big no-no. I'm going up there and checking the situation to see what's happening, man. Cause that, like, like who, what, like, what dude will allow that? I know now in, in today's time, you know, whatever goes, you know what I'm saying. But I'm from the old school, you know. I don't, I don't, I don't rock with that, bro. So I'm checking it right then and there. Yeah, no doubt, man. You got to, man, because. <laughs> You don't know their history, straight up, man, because you don't know they got sexual history, especially when they got fraternity sororities, and they all in that same little circle and everything, you know, man, so they got that so-called connection and all that stuff, so you don't know if they had some sexual history, you don't know if they was all sleeping together within that circle, they all friends, Relations. Of, they do that stuff, they do, Yeah. man, so you gotta watch out for them, especially right now, man, they gonna be trying anything, or they already tried before when he's in college and everything, mm-hmm. you know, and they got their sister in the sisterhood, and they want to be hooking up every once in a while, or if they haven't done it together in quite some time, and homegirl might want to rekindle that sex relationship or that that they had back then. And homegirl, you know, they drinking wine, girl, you looking good, I'm looking good, you know, come here, look, come here, and they gonna hook up and they gonna do it. You know, try some, that. try some new. Huh? Yeah, try something new. I don't want to experiment <laughs> and all that stuff like that, though, man. Come on, man. But speaking of stuff like that, though, man, hooking up and all around in circles and stuff, though. So let's talk about women regardless of the age, especially when you have women who are over 40 or in the 40s and having sex with multiple, multiple, multiple men, having Good. sex like like it's a game, having sex for fun. You're letting all these different men skeet all up inside you and everything, though. No protection, no regard, especially if you are in a relationship, but you're hot in the pants and everything, though, because you just love sex. You crave sex. You got to have sex. He let all these men, he's let all of them skin up all up inside ya. And because you think it's good, you think it's jolly, but it's disgusting. It really is, though, man. Yo, you know, man like that, especially when you're supposed to carry yourself like a lady, and that's not being a lady like, you know what I mean? Because you are a woman who supposed to have some type of class, especially right. when you got kids, so dogs can look up to you. And now you're sitting up there. Have sex all all around the world, all around the neighborhood, all around the city, all around these different states and everything. Though anything is cool and everything. Though it's really disgusting that all these different types of men skeet up inside you and everything. Though man, so what, how you feel about all that stuff? I think and feel that it's very disgusting. Actually, it's a scientific term that's called microcrimerism, which means basically that the DNA of the male, the Y chromosome, is left into the woman's. Head, especially if she have a uh, you know a baby boy, female appears XX chromosome. So when they have intercourse with a male or whatnot, um, the woman gets uh, polluted and has the the Y chromosome 
left up in there. You know, so I think it's very the uh, disgusting for these certain type of females to have multiple relations with multiple different types of men. It's very disgusting. You need to check your health. So that's probably why the uh, it smell a little fishy. Cause something ain't something ain't clean deep in you know inside you. Really need to check that, ladies. You know, no doubt. That's, that's also why I believe, man, they got all your multiple personalities. Though, yeah, man. most definitely. Most yeah. definitely. It's, it's not right. You have all those different men up inside you like that, though, man. Plain and simple, though, man. It's disgusting, though. They shouldn't even, you know, it should, it should be a law. Like I said, go back to the Hammurabi day. They weren't playing under that. You with who you with, that, you know, that one person. That's why I said on the previous shows that it's the reason why God created the hymen. That's really by common law marriage. When that woman get, you know, the hymen uh, broken, that's who she's supposed to be married to, to that, uh, to that guy. That's it, by common law, the natural way. Things change, especially here in North America. You can do whatever you want to do. So, but soon that will be um, coming to an end because we know that's on a whole nother topic. The away. freedom is getting taken away. But back on this though, yeah, it's very disgusting. No real talk, bro. Yeah, man. Nah, man. So, it's, ladies, man. So I'm trying to say it's a double standard. Stop trying to sit up there and try to be like any type of other dude or anything, though, man. You know. You're better than that. And Very think, better. They should know, like like I always say, man, women are receivers. Men are givers. Well, once again, if you got an orange, <laughs> <laughs> you got that orange, and you let every guy walk around and put their finger in that orange. Right. Are you going to eat that? You don't know these men now. Are uh, you going to turn around and eat that orange? Man, ain't going to eat that orange, bro. Come on, man. I don't, I don't even care that orange look tasty and everything. You know, tasting. I want it look luxurious. I want to try it, but I just can't do it, man. After I see one dude put their finger in, the next dude put their finger in, the next dude. Come on, bro. Like, come on, man. That's disgusting. That's contaminated. That's what they are, yo. <laughs> Walk of contamination. <laughs> <laughs> no, man. Yo, straight up. Man, other than that, though, man. Talk about them bachelor parties, man. You know, you seen that no, dancing bear. Dancing bear, that's the name of it. You yeah, might as well man. just call the, call the wedding off, bro. Because it ain't happening. <laughs> <laughs> For real. Yeah, man. I, I, you know what? That's in a topic right there, though, man. Because you got to watch the women. Once again, they let them. If you watch Dancing Bear, <laughs> you see them having bachelor parties. And see what them dudes is doing. Once again, it's unprotected. Most of it is anyway, though, mm -hmm. man. So, yeah. you know, out there and turn to, to a super freak like that, what else is she doing with her side of the why, why you ain't doing that with me? <laughs> <laughs> that's that's going to be the first question I'm going to ask. I seen you know, you, the, uh, the tape got linked. I seen how you were. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Wow, you never done none of them moves and none of that with me. What's up? <laughs> exactly, yo. You know, they're all, everybody watching this. Oh, man, look at this. Yo, look at Sheila. Come on. <laughs> That's embarrassing right there. Come on, man. That's a whole topic you got to talk about when you get home. For man. real, bro. <laughs> also, you got to watch these women, man. We're going to be going out there with them business dates. Man. Is it, man really, is it really a business date? Yeah, it's a sex date. It's a contract. You know what I mean? But I don't want to hear about it. Oh, yeah, it was by accident. You had time right. to drive over there. Take your clothes off, <laughs> lay, lay the door, fuck your butt in bed, and get down with the dude. Right. Especially, especially if you want to get end up giving the dude fellatio. Exactly. Now, yeah, all that time to think about that. Right, right. <laughs> uh, look, look. Ah, it's time to dig into the meat of the topic. Okay. It's time to go ahead and dig into some hardcore liquor. We sipping and we sipping hard right now, man. Because you know, look at to be the truth, sir. Because it brings it out. Right. You got a lot of good dudes out here. A lot of good dudes. You know them. I know them. People around you know them. And we had conversations with different guys, and all of them had different stories to tell. Right. Not right now. There are a lot of great guys in all races, and they end up getting hurt by women, and women chase these guys away. To either live in that with black men to the opposite color of what you are. Right. Or 
it's men in general who just become this bad guy. They don't care no more. They don't love no more. They don't even think about getting in a relationship. All they want to do now is be a player. And they become a-holes. Right, but right. we're not talking about every other woman right now. Because, you know, right now, what we are, same thing. What we love or should love or you should love. We're going to talk about the black woman. No. Yeah. The black woman. Who I think right now is, um, they, look, black women, I love them. They're beautiful. They're the most world copy woman, period. Lips, the body, everything, though, man. It's beautiful. But right now, the attitudes and the spirits, it's ugly. And it really is right now, though, man. Especially when, especially when a woman got some money. And she got some money, she can do whatever she wants. She right. doesn't even care, especially if she stands on the dollar signs over top of her van. You know what I mean? Right, right. Especially if these guys got more money than him, she's going to be hooking up with them occasionally because, you know, she's giving what to fulfill her needs with outside of relationship. And you just, you just a good dude, you know what I mean? She's going to keep you around until something else that she wants comes along. Come along. <laughs> you know what I mean? So that's how it is. You spend all your time. That's one thing you can never get back. That and that's time. not... And you gave your, your love, your heart, and everything. And what she does, she steps on it. Once again, going back to one of the guys I know, when he said, the reason why women don't have feelings is because you bleed it out every month. And that stuck with me. And I'm like, yo, you know what? It's real because women move on so quick when the breakup is done. That guy was always in the picture. All they, right all, they always um always plotting too. I remember it was an old head that told me, you know, after y'all then did the the grown man and grown woman thing with each other, you you think you did you a good job? You turned over sleeping, and she up there awake, plotting on the next move. Always plotting on the next move. Hmm. What other guy? You know, she's saying that she can get with that got money. Because this, this dude right here, he ain't that. He, he he think it's all about sex. But it's more than that to that. He a good person. Mm -hmm. But at the same time, I need more. I need to feel that security. <laughs> but at the same time, what you bringing to the table? Exactly. What you bringing? What, exactly. just opening up the legs? That's it? Come on, it's more than that. Like homeboy said my job, man. You know what I'm saying? What it stands for? L O V E. For women, legs open very easily. <laughs> right. Legs open very easily. And that's women. Let's get back on to these sisters and everything, though, man. Me right now, though, man, they are wicked. Right. They're disgusting right now. The attitudes, you know, man. I know them and everything else, though, man, because right now they can't be trusted, though. No matter how much love you give them, though, man, they're going to trash you down, beat you down, smack you across the face, spit on you. And walk away. And then they're going to say, go over to somebody else's crib. And they're going to be over there with them. And that person's not going to treat them as good as you treated them. And then all of a sudden now, they want to come back. They want to come back. Because now, because you, you love her so much, you were okay. You know what I mean? But she's going to do it again. So if somebody can take you outside your character, why would you want to be with them in the first place, though, man? Because right now, man, I can't stand black women. I really can't. And that's sad for me to say, though, man, because sometimes I've been looking elsewhere, and I see a lot of good dudes out here, especially black guys, who have ran over, and they went ahead and crossed over to uh, a different, you say, genre of women. And they seem like they're happier. I don't know. I've seen it. You've seen it yourself, though, man. What else do you got to say about all this stuff, though, man? Man, I just, I just see that when the guys that I seen when they was... You know, with other races of uh, females, they seem pretty much happy, man. It seems like they're uh, drama-free, stress-free. You know, this is what I seen with my own two eyes, you know what I'm saying? And if, and if a, uh, you know, a black woman got a problem with it, you know what I'm saying, drop below in the, the comment box below and let us know how you feel. I mean, I'm not saying all black women like that, but it's a majority. It's a good handful of them, though, and for the ones that... Um, that are awakened to it and, and don't do that. Maybe y'all should try to um, get a, some type of sisterhood together. And I ain't talking about the sisterhood and them um, and them sorority. I'm talking about a real sisterhood and coaching school. You know the other ones that's um, doing this to the to the uh, the black men like this. You feel what I'm saying? Because it, it's it's reckless and ruthless, man. It really is. It's sad though, man. But like we always talk about, man. I want you to go ahead and 
running down after this though, man. It's because they're controlled and by what they see. And a lot of it has to do with reality TV. They love basketball wise. Right. They love black crew. They love Real Housewives of Atlanta and Hollywood and all the other shows that goes along with and everything though. They're making fun of y'all. Right. Oh, yeah. That's what they show in other countries so they can laugh at you. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> cause, hey, cause they don't let that happen in them in, in their country though. <laughs> they don't let that happen in their country. I'm telling you. Only here. Elaborate on a little bit more though, though. Like we've been talking about before though. Well, let them know. Well the, the thing that I'm saying, like like um with the the housewives, the basketball, all on reality shows, and how the, the black women be up there disrespecting their men and everything like that. They do. they only allow that to happen here. You go back to them other countries, you know, them foreign countries and whatnot. We could say Israel or uh, Afghanistan or China, anything. Man, they will get burnt. They will burn these women alive. Disrespect their men. No, you know, do it <laughs> like straight up. Black women, man, man, they want, they want, yo. Know, we're gonna lead into a topic, man. I know you, you got a little, little bit of heat for them right now, though, man. You know what I'm saying it's not hateful, but it's just some heat because they need to learn their place. Right. But all these black women, man, you know what I mean? They try to be the man in the relationship. They want to run it. They want to step over you. They want to live on top of you and everything. They can't be doing you at the same time. You know what I mean? So, what we're going to go into next, let's talk about these all of a sudden coming out of nowhere or they always been here and now they're just becoming more bold. Let's talk about these studs. Man. So, I know you got a lot of heat for this one right now, man. So, go ahead and take it away. Man, like I was saying before, folk got to understand the program that the UN is doing. I'm going to say it again. The Millennium Development Goal. Goal number three is to promote gender equality and empower women. So, folks, gentlemen, y'all got to listen and pay attention. Because the whole thing, with especially with these, like the whole gay agenda is just an agenda. And they don't care about none of you. They just using you all just like how they used the the, the black people to get um you know Biden administration the Democrats in office. Then look, nothing have been done yet for the for the so called black man and black woman. Nothing. You just got to use and abuse, push to the side, you know. But the 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 whole point that I'm saying yeah with these studs, man. If you know you got a feeling for the the same gender, okay. That's, that's your prerogative. You do what you do. But at the same time, you got to know your role when you step in to a real man. You know. And this is what's happening. Listening to them them, uh, them songs that Jovan Pete doing. Y'all know was uh, Megan Thee Stallion. Whatever that it got going on. Listen to that talking about men giving, giving it head and doing all that. So these, these women running around her acting like they got some, some booster Power coming from somewhere. Listen to these songs and watching these ratchet shows and uh, what is that? The uh, Brad and the the Judith and all this crazy stuff, making it seem like you know the lesbians are more better than true men and you know all this nonsense, man. That's nothing but predictive programming and um, propaganda, and it's just messing y'all minds up because when you step to a real man. A real man, <laughs> not these sensitive beta, beta, uh, black men or whatever. I'm talking about real men, the alpha male, straight up. We gonna put you in the place, straight up. Put you in your place and let you know who really were the pants. And if you want to get treated like a uh a dude, then that's what's gonna happen. You are gonna get socked in the mouth or knocked out like one. That's just straight up, straight up. I mean, it's promoted everywhere. See. Like how you was talking about on the other time, you know, they promoting that, um, you know, for, for gay love and being happy. But then you say the um, the murder rate is very high. Yeah, man. The murder rate, man, between, you know, same-sex relationships, man, you know, that's high, though, man. Because they, they you know, they got a violent... <laughs> there's, there's a lot of violence that people don't talk about, though, man. It's like there's a lot of racism. Right. LGBT community as well. 
You know what I mean? So there's a lot of things. We're going to dig into this a little bit later, man, about the numbers and everything. Right. I'm going to get statistics and stuff like that. But, man, while we're going, what you were saying and stuff, though, man, about those about the studs and everything, though. I'm not saying, but not saying that we know, not giving out no hate. Nah, like, ain't no hate. Just the fact that they are like becoming emboldened. Yeah, emboldened you know? with it. They, they be trying to, they be trying to talk kind of slick to you. Yeah, man, that's what I'm saying. You, hey, come on now, now I'm like I'm not saying that you know women can't fight and do. I'm not saying that, but only thing, like I said on the previous show, just know your role, man. Like I respect you, okay, you. You a stud or what? Okay, you cool. You all right? All right, that's cool. You know, good to have a little, little um, home girl, home, but whatever, whatever you want to be, that's cool. You know, just like on um, set it off. You know, when Queen Latifah was playing her real role, you know, but she seemed like she was cool. Even when you seen when she got the guns from the uh, home boy, he was, oh yeah, that's that's uh, my little G or whatever. Boom, boom, boom. But just don't cross that line trying to step to a real man though. That's all I'm saying. You know, know who wear the pants and know who wear the panties. No doubt, man. No doubt. You know, the only, you know, reality starts sinking in when it's, when you know that you got to sit down when you pee. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> so don't get it twisted. That's, that's, that's something real, though, man. But keeping on this topic, you know. <laughs> People who associate themselves with them and everything, though, man. Um, you said something about some dude named, what's his name, Funky? Right. Yeah, everything, Funky though, man. So and everything, though. Go ahead and give him a shout out, man. Tell me what he was saying. Man, he was uh, he was all upset talking about the Funky Geneva dude. Um, he was all upset because uh, with uh, what the baby was talking about. Saying why with the baby, you know how emotional they be all, how they be doing it well. Why the baby will say some stuff like that, and if he was saying that uh, their community is the real ones that's really um, stepping up for the black men, and you know why you running out and not taking care of your children and doing all that, sleeping with different women and. Doing this, that, and the third, you're not being a real father. And, you know, they were saying that their community is the one that's, um, you know, helping y'all. You know, bailing y'all out. Standing up for y'all. I guess he was speaking about with the Black Lives Matter. But we already know how that rolled. You know, I've done previous shows about that. You know what I'm saying? And I just feel if he, you know, maybe it wouldn't be a problem if he was straight. You know, you talking all that, talking about, you know, uh, he y'all having all these babies. If 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 you were straight, homie, or whatever, you can show him the ropes on how to be a better father <laughs> with the woman. But you don't like women. <laughs> so, yes, you, so you, you you not even in the, the right position to even say what you said, homie. And what's his name again? The, uh, uh, his name, Funky Deneva. Funky Deneva? Mm-hmm. Man, we like to have you on the show. Let's have a topic. And talk about all the things that you want to talk about, and we're going to talk about, and we'll give our opinion. Opinion, opinion, and we'll see how it's going to go. We're going to disagree with a lot of it. But, you know, live and you learn. You can't hate everybody because you have a different. But at the same time, you can't stomp on somebody else. We'll try to force them to see your view. Right. Because you got the whole mind. Um, okay. Anything else you want to add on to that? Man, I just, man, I just say, like, the more, the more thing, the most thing that I'm more concerned about is the freedom that majority of the people in North America is voluntarily giving up. Like I said, it's a motive that they're using the powers that be are using and they, they're causing this uh this division and separation and the more the more ignorant that people are and and not knowing what's going on and not knowing that they're voluntarily giving up their freedom man we're we're gonna win well we're gonna lose this um this battle man you know what i'm saying that's why they pushing all of this stuff so hard you know what i'm saying they pushing um the the Fauci shot so hard and everything like that, man. 
and folks not even knowing what's going on. I'm more concerned about the freedom. All this black and white and 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 gay and straight and all that. People don't see they don't see the the motive that's going on. <laughs> you know, they don't see that. I mean, y'all like for the folks that's talking about their free, you know, being who they are, you know, they you know expressing themselves in that homosexuality world, you're really not free because you're under a program that I just was speaking about. You're under a program. It's not it's not organic. You know. So folks just gotta just start paying the, you know, paying attention to what's really going on, man. What's really going on. They're using you and abusing you. And after they get what they want they little little uh motive or whatever will be fulfilled. Then the people that fell for the okie doke, just like for these black folks that put the Democrats in office, nothing have been done, and still nobody is not saying nothing about this, bro. <laughs> yeah, I need to wake up, man. I'm more concerned about my freedom, bro. Keeping it, cause right now in North America. We have we have freedom right now, you know. But I don't know how long that's going to be. Well, they're definitely trying to slowly take this thing away, though. How are you going to try to force somebody who's healthy? Exactly. If you're vaccinated or anything, though. If you have a vaccine, then the vaccine is there for somebody who ends up. Exactly. Dead. They can go ahead and go out and take it. But forcing people to take it. Come on, man. Whatever. That's, that's hell. This country. It, what, what is this, man? It's like a, is this like a dictatorship or something? Because right now they start us up there and say, you can't go to certain venues, places, just enjoy everyday life because you're not vaccinated. Right. Man, you know what it's, crazy. it's like, it's like telling somebody who doesn't have cancer, oh, well, you know, we need to go ahead and take this, you know. <laughs> It's no case. We need to take chemo just in case. Yeah, just in case. Like, uh, a cancer cell somewhere and it might spread. It's, it's all of us crazy, man. It really is. Really is, bro. That's what I'm saying. It ain't only got nothing to do with the, the gay and straight, like I said before, or the black and white, man. You know, they it, it's a whole nother gender that's happening, man. And it's a lot of people that's falling for the okie doke. And there's a lot of people that's not. That's why they pushing what they pushing so hard because they ain't reached that that number that they trying to get. So for the folks that's that's um you know that's um stalling it and blocking it, keep that going straight up. You know, cause boy, I'm telling you, I'm telling you, it's over. <laughs> we get that freedom snatched away from us, bro. Straight up, locked down twenty four seven. The folks yeah. need it. They need it. They really need to get it together, man. Come together, straight up. I don't care the color, the your your sexuality, or whatever the foolishness they got going on. Come together so we can keep keep our freedom here. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. Mm, definitely, though, man. Definitely, though, man. So, uh, the United States has found they were victims of physical or psychological abuse in a romantic relationship. In addition, over fifty percent of gay men. And almost seventy five percent of lesbian women reported they were victims of psychological and physical abuse wow. in, the, in the same sex relationship. Mm. Now, now I mean so in this article is one intimate partner advised me same sex couples a view of same sex intimate partner violence. But let's talk about the good guy. Let's talk about the good guy, man. Who's always out there ripping and running around there, being everyday Superman, doing everything to keep a smile on his girl's face and everything. You know? But in the end, he got this ungrateful, not loyal, disrespectful, I want to sleep with anybody I want because I can, <laughs> Jenny. Mm. Black Jenny. And this is one of the reasons why we call this black Jenny and everything, though, because Forrest was a great guy. He was a great guy, man. He did everything for Jenny, fought for Jenny, took care of Jenny, did everything he could for Jenny. But Forrest wasn't good enough. Nope. Nope. So, 
you come across women like this, man, who are, have this high sense of superiority, they only think about themselves. If you find yourself more in the relationship and they're not even thinking about meeting you halfway, run like force. You better. Run, run for it, run! <laughs> These sisters is super wicked. And they don't care. There's ain't no man. I know you know a little bit. Of, I know you got like a, a, a little story to tell and everything, you know, man. Everything you know about certain people. And relationships and people that you came across and everything, though. Know. Right. I know, I know one of my friends and everything, though. Know, he's having a hard time up in his marriage. Everything, though. Know, he's... Just, experiencing something right now he called me up last night and then he was going off because you know he's in separation with his wife and so you know he came back to home and he found out you know all his bath and body stuff in the bathtub and he said what about, about, about all my stuff in the bathtub all my stuff was in the bottom of the drawer or in the bags and she said oh well you know somebody had to shower and he's trying to figure out why his son's friend is over the house cleaning up and using his body wash and things like that and why her son isn't there but he is so he wasn't there when he got there but he said yo it's not sitting right with me it's <laughs> something ain't right 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 you know what I mean so he, he was pissed off and he, so he called me up and we had a conversation and everything you know and we was just going back and forth. But I gave him some, I said, you know, he shouldn't sit right with the old man because why is he getting there in the first place? He's all together with his friend not even being there. You know mm-hmm. what I mean? So he's a good dude, working two jobs, fitting himself last and fitting her first. And she was ungrateful. And everything, though, man, because she was still having a relationship with somebody else. She was still keeping in touch with old exes and everything. They were being all sneaky on the phone. You know what I mean? Messenger ruins relationships. Ruins it. And that's why I be saying, bro, like, all right, they, they got for the man to do this, that, and the third, and uh, how you how I'm going to feel secure and blah, 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 yada, yada, yada. But what are you bringing to the table? What are you bringing to the table, man? You need to start. You need to start asking your your chicks that, like straight up. Say say if the dude was to get sick or ill or hurt or anything, you know what I'm saying? He been holding it down for for years. Ever since they've been married, say they've been married for 10, 15 years. You know, so he break down. Or whatever he he disabled or something like that for temporary disabled. Then what? What you gonna do? What what, what the lady gonna do now? What happened to the love? Oh, she gonna leave him, or she gonna stay with him, and she gonna you know hold her end up. You know what I'm saying? This is the type of stuff, man. You before folks even sleep with these females or even thinking about getting married, man. You gotta check that woman, man. You gotta check her. You got to check it straight up. Yeah, man, because they ain't loyal whatsoever. Because look at Will Smith and look what Jenny did to Will. Will had every, he had everything going on. Successful, right. famous, money, beloved. She still did that man dirty. They ain't loyal. They ain't faithful. Like this, one, <laughs> like this one meme. Remember I, that meme my century said, send your girl some flowers to work randomly from a secret admirer. If she don't bring the flowers home, she cheating, fam. <laughs> no doubt, man. <laughs> <laughs> That's about, and it's also, you know, take heed to what our words and everything. Exactly. Okay. He ain't gonna steal you wrong. Nah, it's just it's just the whole thing, man. Just 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 check your woman, man. Like especially when you when you about to get married or whatever, you think she the one. You better make sure. You better make sure, man. Like, cause I'm telling you, cause I I I think that love love should be real. You feel me? Not always. You know, you shouldn't be unhappy. You should always be happy. 
in a relationship. I know you may have ups and downs or whatnot, but you should be happy. If y'all uh, fussing and fighting and argue, arguing, you know, more than being happy, that's not the one for you. You know, that's not the one. And yeah, women are so quick to give up, man. If they don't get their way, they don't feel like something's going right. They can get something else some, from somebody else, man, because he make them smile, laugh, whatever, and everything. Though. They're so quick to give up. And they're the ones, they got, I think it's like, what, like, what 75%, 85% of women are the ones filing for divorce? You know what I mean? It's crazy. So, but they, they just give up quick. Done. You know, let's work this out. No. Divorce. Now you're divorced. Yeah, they operating out their emotion, man. And then, and then so now you're divorced, and she's sleeping with the mailman. Yeah, off emotions. <laughs> <laughs> I'm telling you. Yo, man, before we get off here, man, we, the whole thing with the show, man, was going about is disgraceful, dishonest, unloyal, dis disrespectful black woman, man. Because the coolest thing about Black Jenny right now, man, right now, give me your Black Jenny. Black Jenny, I say a Black Jenny that just don't care nothing about you. You know, she do whatever she want, when she want, however she want to do it. You know, don't don't even respect you as a as a man. You know, sleep with whoever. You know, did another one also like we did this on the previous show. Like men have to wait. To be chosen to sleep with a woman. And the women, they choose who they want to sleep with. You know, so you can't get upset and mad, Shouter, because you made a bad choice on the man who you let, you know, inside your queendom or whatnot. You know, so you just got to check that, like straight up. And it like like it's some good black forces out here, man. You know, but now black forest, you gotta you got to really start using logic and see if she's the one. If you got to, you know, um, cross over to the other genre of females or whatnot. I recommend that. You know, and I wouldn't say like I said before, I wouldn't say all black women are like that, but it's a good handful though. It's a good handful. I don't know what it is. I don't know if it's a, it's a psychological issue or whatever that's going on. But, um, you know, they really need to get that checked, though. You know, it was a um, one video, Instagram video. Uh, it was a black chick. She was up there with this white dude. I guess she thought by her being with this white dude, he was going to be different from, from a black man or whatever. And that dude just, you know, he hit and ran. And she was trying to go talk with him or whatever. And she on the IG crying and everything, telling the story. She was trying to go talk with him. And um, he literally ran from her. People was laughing at her. So, I mean, check yourself, women. Black women, like, straight up. That's all I got to say about it, bro. She did it to herself. Yeah. Self-destruction. You know, he was doing what he felt was right for his own self because he wouldn't check off her because she's on his bucket list. Right. So, you don't care. Now she got to, now she puts that stain on black women but oh, black women easy. Yeah. Well, she probably gave it up. He probably could even be wrong. Let's not talk about that because we know topics that we had that most time when a lot of guys gonna have sex with a white woman or a black woman wrong, he got HIV. Yeah. And he's gonna go ahead and give it to that black woman and she's going to contaminate the community when she comes back home. Thinking because he's all, he's white, he's, he's, he's daddy, he's this, he's that, that thing, though. But he had a plan, he had an agenda, and that's the story our community because you spread it around because you had to go ahead and be curious and rip it around that have sex with this white man and everything, though, and contaminate your body. <laughs> Nasty. You know what I'm saying? We had a topic last time, though, man, when we talked about this, um, this black girl she got killed by the white cop and everything. Right. Just right. jump off. Just jump off. And she was trying to make it work. Yeah. Man, black women got a lot of cleaning up to do, man, because their house is dirty. You can't point the finger at the black man, but he always wants to say it's a black man's fault. It's not. Like I say, you know? 
like I say, women choose who they want to sleep with. And men have to wait to be chosen. I don't even think or even really support interracial relationships. And I do not like seeing us being outside of our race. Right. But speaking for the fellas, right now, black women's not giving what you want. Step on. Run, Find black force, run! <laughs> Find your happiness. For these sisters right now, unloyal. Ungrateful, disrespectful, nasty creatures. I'm gonna call them creatures. That's what they are, man. They lurking. Unstable. 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 <laughs> creatures. <laughs> creatures. Black Jenny is always. Gonna, I mean, Black Jenny is just bad. Pretty simple though, man. We're gonna keep on running on all day with this and everything, though, man. But for us. Black Forest or this Forest period, Forest took a bat. And then probably wasn't even Forest's game. Nope. Probably but, she, but she knew Forest was a good guy. Good guy. So Forest because she couldn't get the dude that she wanted to have with a wood dude did whatever. Or she don't even know who the dad is because he slept with so many people. <laughs> wow. Yeah. Run. Straight up. Straight up, man. Anything else you gotta say, man? Man, I think we done set them all full. I think we did too, man. I think we did a good job today. Black women, the house is dirty. Clean it up. It was a start with y'all. Plain and simple. J.R. Richmond, signing out. Yeah.